Good day! I'm Dr. T and welcome to my office. Uh, I'd like to introduce this idea called dimensional analysis. I'll have another video that goes a little bit more in depth into it and we're actually doing dimensional analysis, maybe a couple. Uh, but the idea here is that we are using the units of, of numbers in order to do conversions. And I don't just mean from like feet to meters, although you can do that. Uh, I'm actually talking, say, tons of coal to CO2 produced or energy consumption uh, supplied from a certain amount of CO2 produced through coal. We can go through some rather surprising and um, incredible conversions using this series of relatively simple math. The core of dimensional analysis is looking at the numbers uh, and the units on those numbers and allowing the units to build the equation. Uh, so it's typical to think like, hey, just tell me what equation I need to use and I'll plug in the numbers. Uh, but with dimensional analysis, you're actually generating the equation. The number plugging part is actually the simplest part to it. Uh, just grab a calculator. Uh, the core of dimensional analysis, doing this with the numbers, starts out with the idea of inequality. Inequality is uh, an equation that has an equal sign. And uh, to be clear on the English, this is not an inequality, this is an equality. The joy of the word am uh, coming on with the way we pronounce words. So in this case, we have two numbers that look different. They have different units, but because of the way the values are arranged, they are the same number. They have the same description. Uh, so I could think of something like three feet equals one yard. They are the same thing. So this gives me an equality, and from that equality, I can set up two what we call conversion factors. These are going to be one number divided by the other. We can do this because both numbers are the same number. What do you get when you take something and divide it by itself? One. So we can take three yards, and, sorry, three feet, and divide it by three yards. One over, or you know, a thing over a thing is one, yay. Or we could do one yard divided by three feet. Once again, thing over thing is one. Because this is one, we can multiply other numbers by one and there is no change except where we're going to change form. So now we can use the conversion factors and we can multiply one number by the other uh, because the two are there and they cancel each other out to be one. We can now say, hey, I've got 18 feet. Multiply that by one yard divided by three feet and I get, once I run the numbers, 18 times one divided by three is six, six yards, yay. Uh, this is one of those skills that takes a bit of practice to get used to because quite often it's more than just convert feet into yards. It's going to be a tad bit more complicated. Uh, but once you get it, it's relatively straightforward and it just kind of clicks. Although you will need to practice this because until it clicks, it's not going to feel like it clicks because it hasn't clicked yet. Uh, so with that said, uh, we'll have another video for you all. and. Have a uh, good day.